Hello everyone, my name is Jae Hoon Kim in Altair. In this video, I'd like to explain how to obtain time signal output in FICO. This slide shows how to time analysis in FICO. All the solvers in FICO are frequency domain method except the FTTD solver. Even with the FTTD solver, the model is set up in frequency domain. FICO FTTD will solve the problem in time using the modulated Gaussian as the input pulse. It is always possible to convert, transform the frequency domain result to time domain in force FICO, specify the input time pulse in post FICO, and automatic IFFT is used to conversion of frequency to time domain. The procedure to get the time domain output three step. The first one is FECO solving in frequency domain. The second one is to define time domain input in force FICO. The third step is to display time domain output in post PICO. These are the available input time signal in post PICO. The double exponential one is used for charging and discharging. The double exponential two is used for lightening signal. And you can use Gaussian pulse lamp pulse, triangular signal. With this FICO example, I'd like to show how to set up FICO for the time signal output. As I mentioned before, the first step is FICO solving in frequency domain. This example is for communication link between monopole and dipole. Monopole work as TX transmitter antenna which have voltage source and dipole works as RX antenna, receiver antenna. We apply 50 ohm to terminate dipole. Target is to display time domain outputs when TX generate sinusoidal time signal and we are going to display near field distribution between TX and RX and receive the voltage at dipole in time domain. Let me show you how to set up using CADFICO. Let me open CADFICO and this is the monopole antenna, this is the dipole antenna. In this simulation, the simulation frequency is between 200 MHz and 400 MHz. Actually, two antenna are resonated at 300 MHz. And then source, the voltage is connected to the monopole. 50 ohm is connected to the dipole antenna. And as a result, we can check near field distribution between TX and RX antenna, and automatically we can we can calculate the voltage at RX antenna. The second step is to define time domain input in post pico. Here, input time signal is a sinusoidal wave of 300 megahertz. So if you go to time analysis, and then you can define new time signal. Here, you can see this kind of window. The signal type is define pulse mathematically, and time analysis axis unit is nanosecond. Total signal duration is 10 nanosecond. FT function of time is sine 2 pi 300 
megahertz multiplied by t. So then you can see this kind of time signal, and also you can see the frequency component of this time signal. Let me show you how to define this one with the post pico. So after solving the cat pico simulation, you can open post pico. So as usual, you can see near field distribution because we already define near field distribution in frequency domain. Also, you can see input voltage applied to monopole antenna, and then you can see the output voltage at dipole antenna as a receiver. So the next step is go to time analysis and new time signal. So here I already defined time signal using this one. Then we can see modify time signal here. So as I said before, this one signal type is mathematical time signal. Time axis in nanosecond. Total duration is 10 nanosecond and FT is defined by using sinusoidal wave function. And this is a time signal and this is a frequency domain signal. The spectrum preview of this time input signal is important. You can determine the simulation frequency in CAD FICO, the start frequency and end frequency. As you can see here, the center frequency is 300 MHz and then I use the starting frequency 200 megahertz and and the frequency 400 megahertz so that's why the frequency span is enough to cover this time signal so after defining time domain input in post pico then the third step is display time domain output in post pico so here you can see electric field flowing in time domain and voltage at Tx and Rx in time domain. Okay, let me close this one and then so now you can see in this time analysis tab you can see near field and some source and load voltage. So to display The near field, you need to open 3D view and then you need to go to time analysis tab and then display the near field. Near field is displayed in the time domain. So let me select DB scale. So as you can see, here, this one is time domain. Okay, time domain signal. So you can see the waveform in this near field distribution and also you can open Cartesian here and then you need to go to time analysis and then you can see TX input signal right so of course this one should be voltage and then so you can see the voltage average is zero the highest maximum value is one and minimum value is minus 1 so you can see the time signal and then whose frequency is 300 megahertz and you can also check the output this should be voltage of course this output has some delay and whose output magnitude is smaller than the TX this. So let me go back to near field. So here you can you can uh, use this animation okay in time domain. Okay, as time goes on, then you can see that some wave is coming from here to the 
to approach to the TX antenna. So let me go back to the original PPT. Okay, this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching.